Hi guys, how you doing? It's just a quick, uh, quick stream. Just a really, really quick stream. Um, it's vintage tour quick stream, stream even. Um, it's just a quick. Uh... How you all doing? Uh, I'm just going to set up the uh, little bits that I need to set up. He says, hopefully, they work. Um, they still need to be set up. It's, I just spawned in, and. I set. I just basically waiting for the loco to turn up, and it turned out to be one of my um, my new locos. Uh, obviously, today we had the patch one two two drop for the PlayStation, PS, uh, Xbox, and the uh, um, PC. There's been a few problems with it. Um, the three seven seven. You can paint it. You can do the livery on it, but you can't. It doesn't. Um, it isn't savable. So hi Jack, hi Bradley, Bradley. PayPal me. Oh yes, definitely PayPal me. No, that just sounds wrong. Um, yeah. So I hope you're doing okay. It's just a quick one. Um, so whatever, however long it will be to take the um, to do the uh, the tour, he says. Um, I'm trying to find. There we go. I hope you're all okay. Um, hope you're looking forward to the southeastern high speed route, to be honest, because I know I am. I like the look of it, it's good. Um, so, yeah. Right, so, yeah, I uh, this just spawned in. And um, doesn't she look a beaut? Like. We'll check someone at the back. Hi, new model bus. So it's just a quick stream. We're doing a vintage tour with a, a, a liveried 66 on it. I don't know what's on the back. I suspect there will be another 66 on the back, strangely enough. No, that's an EWS job, isn't it? I've got to do the lights on the back anyway. That's 20 rail tour hype. Oh, hell yeah. No, I don't want to give up control. Shut up. Blooming thing. So he's got the lights on. He's okay. Oh, I love. Yeah, I really like the fast line one. That looks quite nice. So you've got a 377 leaving. Soon, soon they will be running. It was a bugger doing those, I can tell you that, for, for £5 worth of free advice. Just a slight couple of bits wrong there, but yeah, it looks alright. And I love the cant rail. Cool. the door there it is come on them let's get everything all shoved in uh, on little doors which they should be we're not gonna be late anyway um, switch everything on I've got to go in the back cab and switch the lights off because that bug's still on um, and we should be able to shunt in them um, uh, who yard as well while we're waiting for all the new stuff coming in. Yeah, there is a there is a bug with the um, with the three seven seven. Um, I suspect they're well aware of it. They're probably getting sick to death of people going. Yes, we know. But you know what people are like. They'll see a post and they think their post is more important than the post that thought their post was more important than the post before them. I hope you follow that one. Right, so we've got a green. Off we go. Sort the brakes out. 
Stick her in first. Put her on match to do list. Yes, definitely, 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 definitely. Right, let's have a quick look. Oh, don't tell me it's... What did I forget to do? Oh, switched on. Forward. Brakes are released. Don't tell me they, they don't drive. They do drive because I've driven one. CWS. There we go, we are moving. Boys in the box. So I'll look at the comments in a minute, guys. Yeah, definitely sitting born sidings. The Ying Ying Washer Machine Express. Right. Let's go up a bit. Hi, DP Gamer. It's just basically um, Trains and World Vintage Tour stream. Um, no, the horns are crap. No, I don't know, by the way. That is the crappy ECW 66. Yes, the stock horn is rubbish. Hi, Arsenal fan. How you doing? The only problem with the um, with the uh, numbering in that is that it's all it's all a bit iffy. I could bring that yellow out a, a bit at some point as well.
for the way you get it looks all right up close it looks a bit bad but we don't talk about that Uh, this is just a special one, this is. The live stream will finish when I get to uh, um, Eastbourne. Um, I won't be live streaming again till Thursday. Um, and that will be showing off the uh, South Eastern High Speed. Um, but yeah, there's something going to be going on, hopefully if I can do it on Thursday itself. But I, I don't know, depending on whether I've got power back or not. So Hentis Rail Extra. Hi, Len. Yeah, Colas are 668s, which were previous 665s. You got 66, 846, 847, 848, 849, and 850. That was 66, 573, 574, 575, 576, and 577, respectively. Now, I'm just wondering, and I haven't seen evident evidence of this yet but i do have an orangey flame red 377 unit as a test now it would be interesting to see whether that turns up as a random unit or not Nice one, Evan. So there is a black one as well. Yeah, British train spotter is bugged. You can make liveries. You can make liveries for them, but you can't you can't switch delivery it just the, the option is not there to switch be able to switch delivery uh, i haven't seen one yet but i'm hoping that your livery will spawn um randomly when you actually use it on the east coast way during journey mode or timetable mode so it, it definitely is bugged and they are aware of it um, and no doubt they will be trying to fix it at some point. It won't go into a fix with this week, I don't think. Obviously, they've got to investigate why it's done that. So we're approaching Berwick. It's only a short stream anyway. I'll be back in force on Thursday night. Um, what have we got tomorrow? We have um, a train sim world short tomorrow. So um, that's been released tomorrow. So you've got a bit of train sim world goodness over the next couple of days and then you've got Red Dead Redemption on Friday. me I'm all about 174 I think it is now there's no rush 60 miles an hour seems plentiful Bradley's over 300 bloody hell is that on the PS4 or 
uh, Xbox. Ah, okay. So, the black one, which this is based off of, this livery, took roughly about three hours to make. Yeah, the three three twos are gone completely now, aren't they? There's only fourteen of them. Apparently, no one wanted them. No train operating company wanted to use them. <laughs> nice one, Brad. So, what did you all think of the, um, well, those that watched it, the Southeast High Speed stream from DTG? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, I did see that when they went exploring in the 375 uh, passenger area, Matt quickly decided to walk past a passenger that was stuck at the door, which I thought was quite funny. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, obviously, I'll be downloading it midnight time. But I've got the day off. Um, and then, yeah, we've got the stream in the evening. I mean, there are people that are actually saying that the 395 doesn't look right. Oh, really? You know? There are people also moaning about the 375, like, has the power handle sound of the 377. Yeah, and I'm really going to lose my freaking shit over that. Mm-hmm. Well, that would be interesting. wonder who that is. Exactly. I mean, I'll be out here. I'll be doing stuff like this. Oh, I'll be inside doing it. Yeah, they're just looking at a photograph, which can you, you, a, a photograph can be distorted. That's the uh, notification for 35 mile an hour limit. Better start slowing down. I still got to get used to this this braking system. Oh, nice.
you always race it towards the end of the platform to get a good shot. Oh, what did, you, what did you do to it, uh, Jack? No trains at Killing and Sitting born 15 days. Can we put that in, um, um, into, um, the scenario? So in fact, this loco is actually 66038. You can do, can't you? Jack Express 3037. Oh, cool. Oh, you know, I'm just wondering if they're just holding it back because they just, I don't think they've said anything on the um, on the forums about it, have they? I've seen Megasim, obviously I replied to Megasim and I was just wondering, I, I had a kind of brain fart and I was just thinking, oh, just wondering if I was just wondering if they're holding the um, holding it back so when it releases with the 387 on Thursday it'd do it then, but hmm Yeah, we know. Cool. <laughs> nice one, Len. Use 45 layers. I think this one is up to about 90. I don't think I'll touch the 377. All the 395. Looks good enough as it is. All the 387. Con crash is fixed. Nice. Well, we're going to hit 55 in about 0.6 of a mile, so we might as well stay as we are. You know what? I was really, really... I'm 
I'll go back inside so to me it's less noisier. I was really, really not looking forward to doing the cant rail, the orange stripe there. It worked out it's the easiest thing to do. Unbelievable, it was done within five minutes. Oh we might just spat this. Go green, please go green. Never ever going to get the eSport on time because you always get the red where you're held for the uh, unit coming out. Do you know how to do your numbers? Do the numbers the same size that they all come out as soon as you do them. Just do them on the side of the loco. And then just gradually just edge them out so you've got a nice little gap don't don't change the size of them at all and then just put them obviously next to each other and then when that's done press um press the little circle button to the right of the the texture description and then you can like group them all together and then you can actually edit them and then size them all at the same time and that's how i've done that's how I've done all the all the numbers on the locos. And the lettering as well. That's how all that's done. And with that as well. That's slightly bigger than seven on there, I think. But that's why it looks all one size. It's not easy to do it, but it was the easiest thing to do. It's, I know it sounds really, really strange. There, um, uh, uh, the black one's exactly the same as well. Yeah, so all you do is just put, make sure that all your letters are the same size. Don't don't scale them. And then just basically, when you've got like the full number or the lettering of what you want together, group them all together. And then you can actually change the size of them all to, all at once, sort of thing. Hi, hey, Atra, how you doing? Yeah. Right, so approaching our destination. I'm just kind of hoping that when I do the stream there'll be a couple of scenarios done and then possibly there'll be some um what you call it some uh what do they call them um services done as well i hope that the black one and the gray one will turn up at who junction don't stop don't stop don't don't you do it Oh, nice. Well, there is a tour that went down to Eastbourne and Brighton.
we get some promo shots good that they've actually got a couple you know you can use the, I, I did wonder whether they might do that is put the um put the what you call it locos in there come on you get out of the way just about got that in yeah the stream last night's stream was pretty good i really enjoyed it so we got uh, 3,765 for that. See, you know, I've just dumped in Hentis Rail under there as well. So it's not very good. The colouring is not bad. I mean, I've got to try and bring that out with the handrails at some point. I might see if I can edit that out later on. But I'm overall, I'm impressed with it. This one goes about one o'clock, I think it is. So, it's, I mean, the annoying thing, I think sometimes it's just a little bit too blurry. Yeah, I don't that that was fine when it was enlarged but when it gets down to a lower spec it just really loses detail so i don't like that at all they were on there already and so were these little so were those little stickers i'm pretty proud of the cant rail to be honest i do like that no oh! Let me in! Bollocks. Thank you. Bye! Bye, train! Guess I've got to do a walk in the route all the way back to Lewis. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Pay F for respect. Type F for respect. Oh, guys. Right, do control. Oh, yeah, I can do controls there, can't I? Last time I did that, the PlayStation crashed. No, it don't work. I did that trying to get back in the cab of um, that sand patch on that... Um, was it the intermodal that I did or the manifest freight? Manifest freight I did. It took over an hour and a half. Got to Cumberland Yard. And for some strange reason, I couldn't get back in the cab. I was, you know, I was outside following it sort of thing. Couldn't get back in. I went, oh, control zero. The whole game froze playstation i couldn't reset the playstation or anything no nope, r3 don't work so yeah guys right well i hope you've enjoyed this little um this little thingy it's only 30 odd minutes but um yeah i thought i'd just throw one up there so oh it's spawned let's do it so yeah kind of hoping for the black and all, all gray one or both to spawn in um what's it called yard dun, dun, dun. um what's the yard called who junction isn't it so kind of looking forward to that um but yeah uh it's uh pretty pleased with the results pretty pleased by the way that the route looks as well and I, i'll tell you something that i really do like it's the um I think, where was he? Was he at Ebbsfleet? He was at Ebbsfleet yesterday and he was wandering around. And I just looked at the, um, looked at the, uh, what do they call it? The, um, looked at the passenger information systems on there. And that just looked awesome. It looked really, really good. Um, 
Does that just, unfortunately, they don't have anything. There's the old train boat. <laughs> I see they got the submarine in there. But, um, yeah, the passenger information systems just look really, really good on there. And I, I mean, that looks nice. I can't wait to play the game, to be honest. So this will be interesting. Sitting ball. Oh, it's sitting ball, was it? Yeah, I, sometimes ask uh, Evan. I, I I don't think they um they don't stop some of them, but other ones do. There's about two or three of them, isn't there? We all live in a nuclear submarine. Why is the submarine there? You know, I, I don't understand. Um. But yeah, the route really does look good. And did anyone notice whether the tunnel, the third pick is sitting born? Where that one? Is that sitting born? That's sitting born, yeah. Epsfleet Regional. I don't know why. Hi, Pixel Gaming. Um, yeah, I mean. I quite like, I, I'll, yeah. Did anyone notice whether the hole had been filled in? Then it's boarding on foot. Oh, okay. So the other thing is as well, you can't get to walk round St Pancras, the international bit. The hole's been filled. So network rails, that's where all the stuff's gone from that landslide, Bradley. The hole is gone. The whole hole is gone. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, to... Um, uh, to Thingy. And I will be downloading it in just under 25 hours' time. Just over 25 hours. But for now, that's it. Um, thank you very much, guys. I will see you on Thursday night. Hopefully. Um, Bradley will be streaming from, um, as soon as he's downloaded it and installed it. Jack will be probably doing it on something. Yeah, well, that's not much you can do about that pixel, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, 395012, the, uh, train bow. This one. Where is it? Oh. That one. It's quite nice, actually. It's like brings the old, which is the bridge and the track work, and the new, which is the lo the, the train, um, t uh, together, which is quite cool. Um, you'll be playing it and you might stream it. That's cool. 4th of February, 12.30 a.m. in the morning for a hubless drive in bad weather. Why? Because he can drive them in real life. It. <laughs> right guys that'll be it for me god i sound like alan thompson then um, i will um you have the wi-fi people coming out oh dear that's not good um i will speak to you guys all on thursday have a good couple of days have a lovely time when you play it on wednesday night and um yeah, hopefully see you Thursday. Take it all easy, guys, and be safe. And um, I shall see you Thursday. Until then, bye-bye.